Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. I have a Dollar Tree haul I want to share with you guys. It's not a huge haul, but I am really happy with the things that I did get. Yesterday I posted a shop with me at this Dollar Tree, the same trip that I got this stuff. So if you guys are interested in checking out that shop with me, I will have it linked in the description box below and I will put it up in a card somewhere up here. Don't forget if you love Dollar Tree hauls, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe. Hey guys, I was editing the video and I realized I didn't even mention the fact that I was in a different spot than I normally film at. Normally I film right here, but there was stuff going on in the house, so I moved out to our studio, um, which is detached from our house. It's a work in progress right now. We've had the studio, but I am redoing it and testing out different paint colors and such, so that's why the scenery is a little bit different. I hope you guys don't mind. Bear with me. It's like my summer project that I'm going to tackle, getting that to be my new filming space. And also, as I was editing, I realized I totally forgot to show you one of the things that I got. If you saw my shop with me, you will have seen that I found these mats, so I got this little home one, but it is so small. I still think it's so cute, but I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the doormat there because it just looks a little small in that space. Um, my daughter kind of wants to steal it to put in her um, outside of her little playhouse outside, so I might give it to her. I'm not sure yet, but I would love to know if you guys picked up one of these doormats. Are you using them as actual doormats, or what are you using them for? Let me know in the comments below, and let's get back into the actual video. Okay, the first things I got, I got a couple new Bolero um, items, products. This I already took out of the package, but I got another one of these body oils. I got the Honeysuckle and Green Tea one. And if you haven't seen it, it just comes in like a little, I'm not a big fan of this, but I mean, it's just not the fanciest of packaging, but I do really like the product. I think, I think that it's pretty moisturizing. It's not like the best body oil I've ever used, but I keep one in my car, one in my purse. So I am a fan of body oils, definitely. I just. I just like the way they feel. The scent that I thought there was gonna be a little bit more of a green tea scent in it, but it's, it's, I smell definitely more of the honeysuckle versus the, well, I don't know. It's not my favorite smell that they had, but I didn't know if I would like it before I got it. So I went ahead and got the facial wipes in the same honeysuckle and green tea. Um, I like their facial wipes. I think they do a fine job. I mean, they're not like, they don't blow my mind, but I don't really think any facial wipes blow my mind. So I was happy to pick these up for a dollar. How many come in here? 30 of them. So I think 30 for a dollar is really good. They've never irritated my skin or anything like that. I wouldn't say I have sensitive skin though, um, but yeah, I like them. The next thing I picked up was this foot mask. I am very curious to see how well this works. If any of you guys have used this foot mask, let me know what you think about it. Since it is spring and going into summer, my feet are going to be showing a lot in sandals and flip flops and all that. And I don't like getting pedicures. I'm not a fan of getting, I'm not a fan of the nail salon in general, but I just, I don't know. It's not like I'm afraid for someone to touch my feet. I just, am, I'd, I'd rather not spend my money on someone touching my feet. It's just me. I know lots of people love pedicures. I'll get them every once in a while, but Whatever, not my favorite thing to do. So long story short, when I saw this foot mask, I thought, well, this might be nice to, you know, try and make my feet a little softer and nicer for this time of year. And for a dollar, I figured I would try it. It only has one pair in here. So um, just enough to try it and see if I like it. And we'll see. In my shop with me that I posted yesterday, I showed some of the 4th of July stuff that was in my store. And when I was editing the shop with me, I saw like I missed picking up a couple things I wish I would have grabbed. Um, so there's things I've added back to my list that next time I go, I want to get, hopefully they'll still be there. But I did show this in the shop with me and I picked it up. It just says, God bless America. And it's like a metal-y tin. Hold on, it's kind of tangled right there. There we go. It's like a metal-y tin. I don't even know what you would call this. But I thought this would be so cute out anywhere attached to a door in your house hanging um attached to like a little wreath outside on a patio i mean think it's so cute and i love that it's not plastic it's more like a metal-y look so i really liked these i wish i would have gotten they had a metal looking um pinwheel that i think was like 
kind of like the star. It was so cute. I so wish I would have grabbed that. There were a couple other things, but I'm definitely loving this. I might get a couple more of these because we are going to have a 4th of July party this year. We didn't end up having one last year. My daughter was so bummed. So this year we are definitely going to. So I will be decorating my whole house all 4th of July -y for sure. The next thing I picked up, I showed this in the shop with me and it's just this little baby colander. And I thought it was so cute. I don't have a colander this size. And I have like a plastic one kind of this size, but this one looks way cuter and I just had to grab it. I also almost grabbed in the shop with me, I showed like a little sink plunger and it was so cute looking and I wanted to grab it. However, I didn't because I thought, am I ever going to use that? I've never needed to plunge my sink before, so I didn't pick it up. But if any of you guys have ever needed to plunge your sink and you need something to plunge it with. Dollar Tree now has little sink plungers. The next things I picked up were Mother's Day cards. I got um, a couple cards, you know, for grandparents and my mom, and I actually picked up a card for Lennon to give me. I, my husband is a great husband and a great dad, but when it comes to like getting things for my daughter to give me for certain holidays, he's not the best. He tries, he tries, but He'll go and like go to Walgreens and spend like $5 on a card. I'm like, I don't need that card. I don't need that card. I'd rather just a card from the Dollar Tree. Let, you know, our daughter or you write in the card, whatever you want. So I picked this one up for Lennon because I figured if she were at the store with me, this is the one she would pick up. And it has a little unicorn on it. And I just thought that she would love this card and love to decorate the inside for me. So I'll be giving this to her so she can give it back to me. I also picked up this one. I think this one's so pretty. And it just says, you're more of, what does it say? You're more than a mom to me. This is for my mom. It says, you're my best friend. It's so cute. I just love the way the outside looks so much. Then I grabbed a couple of their regular cards that were just like grandparent ones for my daughter to send um, her grandparents. The last two things I picked up are these water bottles. And I'm going to actually go back and get more. They had them in green too, but I want to get more of the white and the blue. Um, now looking, I'm like, well, oh, this could be kind of 4th of July, but I actually got them to have on hand if we have, like, I feel like it will be so fancy, right? Okay, listen, if I have like 10 of these and if I have a guest that comes over and they want to take a bottle of water for the road, how fancy would it be if I gave them a bottle of water like this? I know stupid right but I don't even care I kind of want to do it I don't have guests come over that much and need a bottle of water to go for the road so you know it's not like I need a whole bunch of these but just in case you have them on hand because I've had this situation happen where I didn't have any plastic cups for them to take I know it would be easier to just get some plastic like solo cups or something but it wouldn't look quite as fancy as this but you can also just use these as regular water bottles for your health for yourself around the house or to take with you to the gym and it is glass so some people prefer glass over plastic and again you know I was just trying to feel fancy shopping at Dollar Tree in the situations where I do have a guest and then they go to leave and they say hey do you mind having a bottle of water for the road and be like sure here you go and like feel super fancy giving them one of these and it'll be like a little gift that they can remember their time spent at the Navarro household <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous but I just thought it would be fun to be able to have that fun I don't know if that's the right word I just wanted to be able to have that to give to people and so I'm definitely gonna get some more of those so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it wasn't a big haul I have on my list to go to Dollar Tree um, later this week so I will have another haul and if you guys are interested in another shop with me um, from my next shopping trip let me know in the comments below I don't ever know if you guys care about seeing shop with me's I know that some of you do some of you really don't so let me know if you guys want a shop with me from my next Dollar Tree trip or I was also thinking about doing a five below shop with me because I have to go to five below to pick up a couple things so let me know if you guys are interested in that I don't know what five below is it's just a store where everything in the store is five dollars and under most of it is five to three dollars not very much good stuff for $1, but they have some pretty amazing things for $5. 
It's just that your bill can add up a little bit more than when you shop at the Dollar Tree. So I try and stay out of there, but I do need to go there. I have a couple presents I need to get for people and I love going there because you can get some cute little presents for not very much. So I am making a trip there. Let me know in the comments below, like I said, if you are interested in seeing a shop with me from there. But that's it for today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. I've got lots of videos coming soon. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.